right, so no, I'm with the lovely oh, nearly drop and bust on the whole entire. Is that what's going on here? Body That's exactly body. what's happening. Oh. Yeah, they happy new year. <laughs> You're looking, you're looking gorgeous as, as always. Oh, thank you, Larry. But then I look on one, um, one of the Instagram pages and them say like, oh yeah, they have like the best walk of the decade for Miss know. Universe. You know, make it feel nice and hype on them something there. I saw that, <laughs> I saw that and I, oh, I think I'm blushing. <laughs> it, it felt good, I can't okay. lie. It, uh, it feels good. Everybody it's remember the water day. Jamaica! <laughs> But anyway, um, when I think Rebel Salute, I don't think Yendi. So tell me why exactly you're here. Good, I'm glad you're surprised. I like I'm, to I'm surprise shocked, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, but when you think Jamaica, mm. you think Yendi. Yeah, when you think brand Jamaica, Yendi works ah. with it. Okay, oh, okay. And so I am here with the Jamaica Tourist Board mm -hmm. and we are interviewing people just mm -hmm. to you know, get a sense of, you know, why the visitors come, mm -hmm. how the experience has been for them with Rebel Salute. Mm -hmm. And also, I love music. Mm -hmm. So... I'm always willing to take in live music. Okay, so now maybe just like jump on fast. Like, have you set any specific resolution for 2020, or you stopped them mm, someday? No, mm. I I stopped that last decade. Oh, oh, oh okay, oh. okay. <laughs> New no, person okay. who this? But mm -hmm. it's more of a. I have a theme of mm -hmm. what I need to work on. Yeah. And I believe that one of my areas of weakness mm -hmm. is consistency. Mm -hmm. I need to be more consistent. Mm -hmm. And so I am focused on being more consistent this mm -hmm. year. Um, and it applies all mm -hmm. across the board in my life. Okay. So no one forgot here no like I know that you know being a mother is something that's very important to you. Yeah. Like what is the latest thing that you learned about motherhood? It is discovery that you made. That it changes every year. Mm -hmm. Every stage of life comes mm -hmm. with new emotions, mm -hmm. new explorations. Mm -hmm. And I am still learning my daughter mm -hmm. as much as I'm still learning myself and yeah. navigating the new phases that mm -hmm. come with development. Oh. She how much now? She's seven. Oh, Jesus. But it comes with an emotional awareness. Oh, it comes I can't with wait for when she becomes like a preteen and something and start giving a teenager attitude because more often see attitude? how Yendi have a hand lit because my ear say you're strict, you know. My ear, say, my ear, I look a birdie tell me say you don't play. Like you are a proper disciplinarian. I'm quite a traditional mother <laughs> and I think we have a great but understanding. But take up your book when you come from <laughs> school, them something yep. there. Tidy up your room. Yep, we're at no screens in the mm. week, only on weekends, mm. no iPad during mm. school terms. Yeah. Yep, I'm pretty traditional. Do you watch the reel? I do watch the reel. I was having a conversation the other day and I was just like, yo, Jamaica, we're going to bring a vibe like that. I was just like, Yendi would have to be on something. Like, if the Caribbean did something, Yendi would be on it. Who is the person that you identify the most on the reel? Which one of them? Let me see. Hola, hola. Don't tell me. See me can match it. Oh, all right. So spiritually, they look at Tamira, they look at Goody Two Shoes, but that Adrian, like they look at Spunk and that fight. I feel like a genie. Genie, Mike. That's it. Oh, I see Vader, right? I don't think I'm genie. But between style and, you know, the, 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 the quirkiness and. I think I'm a merge between. Yes. Yeah. Maybe Tamara. Yes, see, maybe, maybe of that, yeah. I'm a, I'm a blend. Blend tomorrow and, with, and blend genie. You see that? Oh, okay, okay. But it goes and on. then you get Tamini or. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No Lani. I'm such a nerd. We don't get no Lani. We don't get no Lani. I, I don't ever have any Lani in me. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not really funny. I'm more corny. Yeah. That's why we love it. You just said we yes. Love it. No. Yeah, but you have. But I'm corny too. But let's try to get it like we're just like. Together. All right. So before, <laughs> but oh yeah, we're just going to jump to something now. Um, so no, if we can make things serious now, like I know you always talk about like you know women and you know important women. Yes. Um, we think about the whole situation happening in Jamaica now with the, the violence against against women. The. The mm -hmm. culture of violence in Jamaica mm -hmm. is too, it's become too much of a norm. Mm -hmm. Just in general, just yeah. stop. Mm -hmm. Regardless of gender-based violence, yeah. the culture, the the mm -hmm. rush mm -hmm. responses, the reactive nature, mm -hmm. it's just it's unacceptable. The mm -hmm. ignorance, mm -hmm. what is happening towards women, yeah. is a massive indicator, in my opinion, of yeah. this hyper-masculine society that we have where Fox. men are not in touch with their emotions, mm -hmm. men don't know what it is to feel vulnerable, mm -hmm. and when they feel anything that makes mm -hmm. them feel emotional mm -hmm. or vulnerable, they don't know how to process yeah. or respond. And the responses are therefore, in my opinion, 
you can't even rationalize the responses and there's no justification whatsoever absolutely no justification but i do think that we have an unhealthy relationship with men and managing emotions and being vulnerable in our society in jamaica man of a man man yeah for man. Yeah, for talks, they can't, yeah, for a massive things, yeah. part of being a man is feeling a massive part of being human the human experience is feeling mm -hmm. and so it's okay to process your emotions mm -hmm. and feel what you feel mm -hmm. On the flip side of it, mm -hmm. I don't understand why any man thinks that a woman is his property. Women are not the property of men. Well, not, not even when they invest and no. them, okay, oh, no. okay, yeah. No, 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 no. And that's, that's, that's what a man was saying, no. like, yo, we invest some no, money. No, women are not and, property. Mm -hmm. And what I will also add is, mm -hmm. for years in yeah. our society, mm -hmm. the disrespect and disregard for women is tolerated. Women in our culture take bun, mm -hmm. get baby mm -hmm, mm -hmm. brick tech in baby mm -hmm, off of the street mm -hmm. raise baby like a mm -hmm. fiwi i mean it's just some man stay no we mm -hmm. in my opinion have dealt with when we are broken mm -hmm. and we are impacted yeah we, we, we go to church mm -hmm. i go to church and i cry mm -hmm. and i take my woes to the mm -hmm. lord in prayer mm -hmm. and then i process and i deal with it and i mm -hmm. come out in the public and put on a brave face yeah and I, but mm -hmm. I've been through so much. Mm -hmm. There's been so much hurt and betrayal mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cheating and mm -hmm. you understand. But mm -hmm. I'm not picking up to kill nobody. Mm -hmm. But the minute you would almost dare mm -hmm. take ownership of your own life and step out and do what you will with your own body, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you are immediately labeled as something. Yeah. You are reduced mm -hmm. to something, and mm -hmm. then you must what tech box, yeah. tech click, or at this rate now tech stab up. Mm -hmm. It's sick. What is going on in our culture is sick and it You were in that video accepted. here with um, Taurus Riley too, right. yeah. You got to love yourself before you love someone. That's right. message, yeah. I have never been okay mm -hmm. and I don't think any of us should ever be okay mm -hmm. with the disregard, mm -hmm. disrespect and abuse mm -hmm. that is dished upon women yeah. not only in the form of physical abuse mm -hmm. because in our society women are emotionally abused mm -hmm. day in mm -hmm. day out yeah. and it is just reduced to a so it goes is mm -hmm. our culture it's not okay so question um you're raising a daughter have you started to like have that conversation with her into in terms of how she should um expect boys to treat her and how boys should treat her and you know I have expressed to her how people should treat her mm -hmm. and I highlight to her how people make her feel and to pay attention to how you are made to be made to feel mm -hmm. um, if I am something may be going on with me and I don't give the type of composed response I would ordinarily give and I might be sharp with her and unnecessarily sharp with her yeah, yeah. and I will apologize to her mm -hmm. If I say something that I well, believe a parent is, who apologizes? yes, wow. because in wow. my opinion, if yes. I if I have hurt her mm -hmm. and my intention is not to hurt her but put her in her place, then yeah. I'm sorry that I hurt you mm -hmm. because I need her to understand accountability yes. and that people who love you don't set out to hurt you mm -hmm. and it's not okay mm -hmm. for them to hurt you and justify it in the name of what you understand. And so in general. Mm -hmm. It is important how you are treated. Mm -hmm. It is important how she sees myself and my partner relate mm -hmm. or interaction mm -hmm. or conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. It is important that she knows that there is a way mm -hmm. that it should be and yeah. anything else is not something she should tolerate. I don't believe, mm -hmm. I personally don't believe in tolerating disrespect. Mm -hmm. I don't want my daughter to think she can tolerate disrespect. I don't believe in it. If I feel disrespected, if I can't fix it, I walk. Okay, so now you're gonna touch on something like our love. So, um, how are you feeling in that situation right now? Like, booed up and stuff like Valentine's Day is around the corner. Like, how are you <laughs> feeling, you know? It's been some, it's been quite a while, right? Yes. It's been some, the years, they're my pile up now, so. Yes. And see the smile they reach and all them look at something yeah. there like it's like butterflies and all them look at something there. Mm -hmm. The cheeks getting red and stuff. It's more like mutt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a joke, a joke. Um, mm -hmm. What was your question? Just give me a word to describe the situation, that loving situation that you're in right now. Um, what it means to you right now in 2020 to have that in your life. Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. The, the best way I can sum it up is peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm realize it well now we're going to just wrap this up this chat with the lovely yandy phillips and so what we're going to do right now since we are the king and queen of corny i want you to give me the disney outro you know like the business show there and you're and i'm something there and you're watching disney channel okay you know that thing like you do the i don't want to flop myself but i 
I never had cable and oh, I, wow. I didn't watch Disney. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do the, 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 the corny show thing where you jump and it freezes in the sky. In the sky. Okay. Alright? Alright, Jeff, well. Alright. So that's it for the Dr. Ray Show. Peace out. <laughs> so corny. Alright, take care. And a special thanks to our sponsor, Aubin's Car Rental, for making this trip to Rebel Salute possible. They are located at South Camp Road, and they can be contacted at 455-3801. Aubin Car Rental.